at home one time. My dad walked in and said, JFC sounds like he's having a baby. My dad was nothing if not open minded. <laughs> yeah, right. Bronski beat in the communards made some great stuff back in the 80s. This is uh, the Bronski beat from the Age of Consent album. Small Town Boy. Song about a kid getting kicked out of his house for being gay. I mean, the, the lyrics don't actually say that, but that's what it is. You can tell. Great song. Ah, uh, playing. Playing the Bronski beat in honor of my LGBTQ family and friends. We got gotcha. you. Happy Pride Month. Definitely no judgment here. The only thing we judge people on is whether you're an asshole or not. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to swear, family channel, but... You got it once in a while. <laughs> it's the only word that fits. So as long as you're not one of those, you're welcome in my house. Uh, welcome to my channel, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon, June 22nd. Beautiful day outside. We're in the Mission Control Center in Mission British Columbia, the Mission Man Cave. <clears throat> So it's Thursday. That means uh, movie review day. And <clears throat> sorry, I finally saw the. Well, I talked to. <laughs> I only do phone appointments now. The ear, nose, and throat guy. He gave me these nose spray to to do and twice a day. And <clears throat> I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to clear up my throat. Seems to make my, my voice go weird. I don't know what is happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we got to have fun with it, though. So anyway, I hope that clears up my problem. That's supposed to take uh, 16 weeks to take it full effect. So I got to take these nose sprays for... 16 weeks and i'll see the doctor in october nine months it took me to get to a ear nose and throat guy it's just our medical system is just broken so anyway thursday movie review day so instead of doing one single movie i'm doing my top 10 uh guilty pleasures now the criterion for criteria for a guilty pleasure is it's got to rate Less than 66% on Rotten Tomatoes in one of the categories. There's a critic category and the audience category. So it had to rate less than 66% on one of those. Now, I did break my own rule <laughs> in one, in, for one of the movies, but when you when I get there, you'll see why. It just uh, it belongs in this category just because it's a guilty pleasure, but it, it didn't quite meet the criteria but anyway i'm gonna do five um honorable mentions they didn't quite make the list but these are movies that i've seen uh multiple times and 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 we'll probably see a lot more times going forward so first honorable mention is enough jennifer lopez everyone has a limit so especially if you got a credit card um this movie's uh, yeah, kind of a revenge movie. I love me a good revenge story. But but there's some good, uh, solid performances. Fred Ward is in it. Uh, he's always good. Uh, he was in one of my favorite movies ever, Tremors. Um, now, the, the best thing about this movie is the actress, the little eight-year-old actress who played her daughter. Her name's Tessa Allen, and she is just priceless. She is so good, just flawless. So I really enjoyed her performance. And so, yeah, you got to see that one. Next on the list is Gridiron Gang, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, now, he he just has a presence about him. Like, he can't argue with it. It's just there. And he 
every movie he's in he just dominates the screen and this movie's a little melodramatic but it's got a lot of good football scenes in it uh tugs at your heartstrings a little bit but uh yeah uh, i'll watch this movie many many times next is swordfish uh say what you want about john travolta but he's a great actor i really enjoy his acting even the the worst movies he's been in i've enjoyed his performance although i've never seen battlefield earth but <laughs> that's probably the that general consensus is it's the worst movie ever made so i just haven't watched it but anyway halle berry hugh jackman don Cheadle, all excellent in this movie it's a silly movie bad writing bad directing but the acting is excellent and and the best thing about this mo movie is you get to see halle berry's boobies <laughs> So yeah, that alone is worth the price of admission. Uh, the next is another Halle Berry vehicle, uh, The Call. Uh, garden variety thriller, but the antagonist is really good, and you really just want to reach through the screen and wring his neck. So, um, yeah, some good performances in it, too. It, it, it holds your attention and, and, and keeps you watching. Uh, the last honorable mention under siege, Steven Seagal. I've seen this movie more times than I have fingers and toes and, and, um, Gary Busey and Tommy Lee Jones play psychotics who take over the USS Missouri and Steven Seagal does what Steven Seagal does. He leaves, <laughs> there's probably 57 confirmed kills and probably 30 more suspected. So, uh, lots of broken bones and blood. And the best scene in the movie is Erica Oleniak popping out of the birthday cake. So <laughs> you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So yeah, just wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that scene alone is worth, worth this movie, worth watching this movie. So anyway, I got to get rid of all these now. Uh, number 10 cop james woods now <laughs> james wood is a bit of a nut bar i saw him interviewed at an la kings game once and he professed to be a hockey fan and they started talking and I, no <laughs> he's not he has no clue what he's talking about anyway he's a good actor he plays james woods playing james woods in this character in this in this uh action Kind of, it's not really an action comedy, but there are some funny parts to it. Um, there is a plot hole you could drive a truck through, but it's uh, entertaining just to <laughs> just to watch the the actor. Um, there's a couple of scenes where he kills people and then starts making jokes after, and so <laughs> it's just like no big deal. The guy's dead. Um, now, uh, the best part about this movie is the ending the very last line is the best last line of a movie ever so you it, the whole movie builds up to that point and and when he when he said it it's like yeah, yeah! <laughs> touchdown yes it's awesome i love this movie uh next one number nine innocent man tom Selleck. you gotta remember back in the day tom Selleck was a pretty big movie star and this was not one of his better movies but but it, it's um if anybody who knows me knows that i i if you want me to freak out you just accuse me of something i didn't do <laughs> and that's in this movie tom Selleck plays an innocent man he goes to prison and and how he gets his revenge so yeah it's uh uh, I love it. It's excellent. Uh, next is Sahara. Penelope Cruz and Matthew McConaughey. Uh, based on a Clive Cussler novel. Uh, Clive Cussler wrote Raise the Titanic and a bunch of other movies. He's written probably like 100 books. Um, it's an action adventure and just one of those that never stops moving. And and even though it's completely unbelievable, it just it works. I just uh, I love this movie. So, um Number seven, Digstown. Another James Woods movie. James Woods playing James Woods. Nobody plays James Woods like James Woods. Um, Lewis Gossett Jr., uh, Bruce Dern, Oliver Platt. Excellent cast. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty entertaining. It's kind of a comedy mixed in with a, a conman kind of deal. Um, yeah. Uh, the ending is really good. I really like when I very first saw it, the ending came along. Oh, holy mo 
holy. And then, but I talked to other people who've seen it. I saw that coming a mile away. And I just said, I didn't see it coming at all. I was like, you know, it definitely turned my brain off when I saw it. But I still enjoy watching this movie. Uh, Heather Graham is in it. She's really, really good. So she's worth it just, just herself. So yeah, watch this movie. So next, number six is Rockstar with Marky Mark. Uh, best part of the best and worst part about this movie is uh, Mark Wahlberg's wig. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, this movie's based loosely on Judas Priest, and you know they lost their lead singer and how they replaced him with some guy who was singing in a tribute band. You know the the tagline is uh, "Wanna be who got to be." So it's a fantasy. You know we all want to be the guy who gets to be the guy, and. Uh, the tagline is the wannabe who got to be so we'd all love to be that so yeah jennifer aniston's really good in it she's yeah yeah so excellent and uh, there's there's some twists in it that you don't see coming timothy oliphant is in it if you ever seen deadwood he's really good in it too so um the rundown another dwayne the rock johnson and sean william scott um uh chase movie uh, and um the best part is christopher walk and he plays the bad guy and he's he's got all the best lines but uh the rock's got some good ones too and and there this one was turned on to me by my friend mosey and mosey if you're watching there's coos on the grind <laughs> so you'll know what i'm talking about if you see the movie so hello mosey still love you uh next one number four sneakers it uh this is the one that broke the rules it's actually rated pretty high 80 percent on on rotten tomatoes uh great cast robert redford dan Aykroyd, ben kingsley mary mcdonnell river phoenix sydney poitier um very well written i thought i like and and very funny action comedy uh yeah everything you could want in a movie i just uh, love this movie i'll see it many many times and turn anybody on who wants to see a good movie that's it's, it's awesome so uh number three mr brooks kevin costner say what you will about the guy uh he's a very underrated actor in my opinion uh this one it's uh the bad guy is the good guy demi moore is a cop and uh, she's really good in this and dane cook who <laughs> i've read is this the the jerk from hell while well, he plays a, a jerk from hell in this movie so he's probably not much of a stretch for him so uh yeah this is probably the best movie you'll ever see that you've never heard of i i thoroughly enjoy watching this one and and yeah kevin kevin costner is just awesome so number two happy gilmore filmed in vancouver he plays a hockey player becomes a golfer and can't control his anger now when i'm in a bad mood this movie picks me up so if ever i'm feeling down or i'll throw this one in and i just laugh my head off and the scene between him and bob barker has got to go down in the annals of history as the classic comedy scene i just oh i laugh so hard every time i see it so yeah and that's filmed in vancouver so it makes it even more more interesting now number one on the list is surprisingly payback mel gibson now you're probably wondering what what the heck <laughs> but i love like i say i love a good revenge movie and this one this one just oh you know, it, it satisfies it satisfies me when when i'm watching it because i just I, you get such good revenge so uh chris christopherson james coburn bill dukes in it um uh, good cast um yeah they it, it, it get ready to root for the bad guy that's the that was the tagline in the on the original poster and and mel gibson's just got all the great lines he's just sarcastic as all hell and and not a nice guy <laughs> so, yeah. so that's all i got for you uh let me get rid of this uh banner here and this here and yeah so if you agree or disagree or you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Monday, we've got book review day. So coming up is Crossroads by Caleb Dahlgren. Uh, 
Uh, he was one of the humble Broncos who was on the bus when it crashed and he luckily survived. Uh, 16 people did not and great tragedy. We still have a hockey stick outside on the porch. Um, now there's a picture of, of him. Now my wife, Kathleen already read this book and she loved it and she's not a hockey fan. So I'm really looking forward to this. And Gretzky says, uh, crossroads will change your life for the better. And I'm sure it will. And yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. So that's, that's what we got for you. And, uh, have a good weekend, everybody. And I will see you soon.